here for you with 6 News at 11. Well, as you just heard our chief meteorologist David Young say, destructive winds, rain, and even a reported tornado battered mid-Michigan tonight, leaving behind major storm damage and massive power outages. The weather is our top story tonight at 11. Thank you for joining us. I'm Sherry Jones. And I'm Siobhan Klepfer. As David said, the worst of the weather has passed for mid-Michigan. For some, that means cleanup has just begun. For others, they will need to wait for the sun to come up or the power to come back to assess the damage. That's right. More than 200,000 utility customers are in the dark right now across the region from Grand Rapids through Lansing past Jackson. We were on the air warning people of that possible tornado heading to the Weberville area near I-96 as that rotation was happening. And that's where we find Josh Sanchez. He's joining us now live right now from some of the damage that's resulted from this powerful storm. Mm -hmm. Josh, tell us where you are exactly and what are you seeing right now? Yeah, Sherry Siobhan, I am on Williamston Road near the uh, exit uh, off ramp on uh, I-96 uh, I eastbound. Now behind me, you can see those fire crews are restricting traffic to flow through on uh, Williamston Road. And take a look further down here. You know, you can see all this traffic being diverted off because back on the highway, you can see that traffic down there is at a crawl. Uh, you know, a few minutes ago, we saw them slowly moving through and now they seem to be at a uh, dead stop there. Now there's also heavy police and fire EMS presence at uh, Haven of Rest Retirement Home, which is here on this street as well. And uh, there's been a heavy traffic on uh, 96 eastbound. And when we got on the road after the first major band of storms went through, uh, we could see just the sky being lit up by all this lightning and it was just while there was traffic lights out at the intersections uh, near Oak Miss when we drove through there we could still see the road because of all that lightning. Now as we moved into Mason we found multiple tree branches were down on Halt Road. Now as we heard you know there's our multiple reports of damages coming in from around the mid-Michigan area and we'll definitely be keeping an eye on that. So be sure to stick with us both on air and online for the latest. Here for you in Williamston, Josh Sanchez, 6 News. All right, thank you very much, Josh. Well, there is a light show over I-96 southbound. We've seen that tonight. You can see the tornado damage near Weberville. You're taking a look at that right now. There are hundreds of thousands of people without power across Michigan right now. 188,000 consumers, energy customers are in the dark, and the storm left a pretty clear line of outages traveling southeast from Grand Rapids through mid-Michigan all the way to the Detroit area. Now, through the capital area and into southeast Michigan, Many of those outages are expected to be resolved, but that will have to wait till the morning hours. Others are expected to last well into tomorrow afternoon. Yes, that's right. Let's talk about BWL power outages now. Uh, the Lansing Board of Water and Light reporting almost 150 power outages affecting more than 29,000 people around the capital city. The biggest outages are on the south side. It is not known yet when those outages will be resolved, but of course we will keep you up to date. We also know at least one house caught fire tonight in Holt because of the lightning. That is according to the Ingham County Emergency emergency management. So we are looking into that tonight as well for you. But be sure to stay with 6 News on the air, online, on our 6 News app and our weather apps as well as we continue to follow the aftermath of tonight's destructive storm.